Hi class. Uh, in this video, what I want to do is I want to show you how to use Microsoft Excel to um, complete some of the requirement, not requirements, the concepts that we've learned um, in the post-class videos this week. All right. So to begin with, we got this Excel spreadsheet with two columns of data. So it looks like we have uh, one variable here. This is the study time and number of hours. So it looks like it goes from zero hours all the way to 20 hours. And we have the grade on the midterm exam for this class, right? So it looks like out of these um, 19 variable observations we have here, low grade on the midterm was a 40, high grade was 100. So imagine this is like a sample of students from my previous classes, okay? So how many, how much time they spent studying for the midterm, the number of hours, and then the grade they got. So if you were to think about it, the first thing we defined was when you have two variables, are they related somehow? And yes, I think to a certain degree, probably to a large degree, actually, uh, how much time you spend studying does affect your grade on a, on a major exam. All right, so that means these two variables are related. So when two variables are related, generally what you do is you have an independent and a dependent variable, right, or a predictor variable and a response variable. For this example here, I think study time is the independent variable or the predictor variable. And the grade on the midterm is the dependent variable. Or we also refer to it as the response variable. All right, so the first thing we want to do, or one of the first things we talk about when we have this relationship between the two variables, what we want to do is we want to show a visual representation of this. So the first thing we want to do is create a scatter plot of the data. All right, now to do that, we, we saw like um, in the videos how you do it by hand, which is it's pretty easy. To do it um, with Excel, it's also even easier. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna select and highlight the two variables like this. Then if we remember from class uh, this week, you wanna insert a graph, you're gonna go to insert. And you're gonna press this little button right here, all right? And it's going to load up uh, just a bunch of different um, graphs for you. So right off the top, the recommended graph is a scatter plot, and you can see, but it has like the dots connected. So go to all chart here. Go down to scatter. Remember, a scatter plot actually doesn't have um, a line drawn through it. So what they defaulted for was this plot right here. In scatter plot, you can see it has the line through it. We want it without lines. We want to click over to this one right here. We just want to hit OK. Yeah. And you can see here that it defaults with the, the title name for the second variable. So we have grade on the midterm. And then you can like um, format the area, um, put whatever you want in there to, to write like on the bottom. You could say hours of study, things like that. Um, but generally, all we want to do is start with is look at the scatter plot and see the general trend. So it looks like just looking at the general trend here, that this is a positive linear relationship between the two variables, right? Because it has that upward slope. Now, obviously, it's not perfectly linear, right? Because it's kind of a little, you can't draw like a straight line through it. The variables are a little off from each other, or the dots are, I mean. All right, so we have this positive linear relationship between the variables. Now what we want to do is we want to measure the strength of it. So what we want to do is calculate the linear relation coefficient. And to do that, it's pretty easy. You're just going to hit equals. You're going to type in C-O-R-R-E-L. Now, and you can see I misspelled coefficient there, but anyways, we'll go back to that. So it's equals C-O-R-R-E-L. Now, this one's a little complicated. You got to start with parentheses. And then the first thing it's going to ask you to do is select ray one. To do that, you're going to have to highlight the first variable. So you start all the way with study time and go down to the final variable. You're then going to have to press comma. All right, that comma is incredibly important, and then you'll see highlighted, it'll say array two. 
And then you're going to literally, again, hold and select all of these variables like that. And then you're going to close the parentheses and hit enter. And that right there, that 0 0.984759, is a linear correlation coefficient. And you can see that since it's such a high value, that there indeed is evidence of a strong positive linear relationship between the variables. So evidence of a strong positive linear relationship between the variables. And that's how you can use Microsoft Excel to do all these calculations very, very quickly and very, very easily.